In this video, we will be demonstrating how to perform the optical chamber cleaning for a T640PM mass monitor. This procedure is recommended every six months or more, depending on operating conditions or if there is any difficulty performing a calibration. Items needed include a Phillips head screwdriver, a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, canned air, cotton swabs, and dry, lint-free, non-abrasive wipes. One. Step one, remove the ASC support bracket. Make note of all connections, electrical and plumbing that go between the components on the ASC support and the rest of the instrument. Unplug the flow sensors from the front control board. Unplug the pneumatic connections on the bracket. Mark any connections with masking tape if needed. There are four Phillips head screws that secure the support to the floor of the instrument, two on each footing. Step two, locate the optical cell nozzle, the cup at the bottom of the optics chamber and its tubing, and the relative humidity and temperature sensor. Step three, remove the optical cell nozzle from the optics chamber using an Allen wrench and detach relative humidity and temperature sensor tubing from the cup. Step four, clean the optics chamber interior surfaces, including the light traps and optical windows with a lint-free cloth. Step five, use a can of compressed air made specifically for electronics to blow any dust or debris from the optics chamber, cup, bottom of the optics chamber, and tubing. Step six, Clean the optical cell nozzle using cotton swabs and canned air. Step seven, one finished, reassemble optics chamber components. Reinsert the nozzle to the top of the optical cell. Install the cup in the bottom of the optical chamber. Tighten the screws to hand tight. Caution, do not over tighten the screws. Reconnect the tubing from the cup to the RHT sensor. Reinstall the ASC support and the tubing from the RHT sensor to the DFU filter. When reinstalling the ASC support, the tubing from the optical cell cup to the DFU needs to be routed through the side, above the diagonal support, of the ASC support. Pay special attention not to place the support on top of any wires near the rear panel and CPU board. The harness should be out of the way, but it is a good idea to check. Reconnect the flow sensor plugs to the front control board, as well as any additional tubing that was unplugged, such as the pulsation dampener to the pump. Step 8. Close the instrument and turn the power on. Wait until the LED temperature stabilizes, and then perform a PMT sensor check with your span dust bottle.